All right, let's get Ravali charging up here. Um, okay. Things are getting a little colder up here. We're back up here, which is fine. This is actually where I want to be. Camp over here. Some boys down there to fight if I want. Don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. Ah. Itchy. Go ahead and make my way slowly to this little yellow dot that we got blinking on our screen here. Oh, we're cold. Let's get warm. And, oh no, 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 oh, come on, I guess I'll go this way then, it's so, oh, and now it's raining too, hmm, that looks suspicious, what are those up there for, kind of looks like it would be something, speaking of, Korox. Hmm. Maybe not. Interesting surroundings. Hmm. Indeed. Very indeed. Anywho, let's uh, not get too sidetracked, shall we? Spawned at a really bad spot. Bump. Bump. Bump, bump. Oh, hello. If you seek power untold, offer a shining blue stone. Well, that's easy. Where are these darn things? I like it, it actually gives you the answer to with the woman of stone literally right there. It's like there's no way you can't get this. And I mean, I might as well go ahead and grab these things. You're free for the taking. You're free is always good. Alright. Two bombs. Two. As in dose. Okay. Oh, okay. I see what we got going on here. Then we got like a door over there. Why am I crouched? Sniff around back here first. Oh, hello. Glad I sniffed around. Definitely glad I sniffed around because I'm in need. Okay. I remember. I, 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 I haven't practiced this one in a while. That was too, too, too slow. There we go. <clears throat> Does this one also have a thing? Oh, it has a switch. Okay, now if I remember this correctly, let me look up real quick. Yeah, it's gonna be another one of those. Okay. I gotta lay one back here. And then grab this guy. Set him down here.
And boom. That was pretty easy. Now why do I have a feeling that I want to do this twice? Is there anything to get like here? Uh, see, I thought it was going to lead me to a chest. This would be, it would have been a good place to put one. There's the, there's the go. The go. Alright, we've got this situation going on. Right. Let's get, okay. Was trying to get on you. So I want to actually see what's going on here. I gotta hit that, apparently. Okay, I need to be on those. So, let's get you here. And then I guess I wait. Yeah, that was simple. Ah, but wait. Oh, I see what I see what it wants me to do. Hold on. So I've got to lay one of you. Uh, that's not what I was trying to do. And then grab. Pardon me. Oh, I didn't want them together like that. Shoot, that was stupid. Why did I detonate it? Let me get up here with it. Hold up. No, I can't get in there. I don't want them launched together. How do you do this? Ah, uh, come on. Alright, this is kind of getting on my nerves a little. No! Then how? Oh, the other one didn't blow up! Oh, okay, see, I thought it would blow it up. Okay, I know, now at least, I, at least now I know what I'm doing. Oh, God damn it. Pick it up! There we go. Did I get all the... Yes. Got the... On the chest. Alright. Oh, I guess I missed one. These. Okie dokie, Migoki. Let's grab one of these. Oh, you see, we got a lot of like these frog statues around here. This place is a little suspicious. Very interesting for sure. But we are exactly where I intend for us to be right now. We've got a lot of these dragonflies here. Oh, 
Oh, hello, you. Have I ever gotten a picture of these guys? Ah, uh, come on, get into my view. I have not. That's a pretty cool picture, too. something we actually need. This is the duplex bow. Take back to that kid. They're actually pretty decent bows, too. Oh, that thing drops some money. Uh, there's, yeah, because you get like a double shot. And I'm going to go ahead and pick one of these up. Screw this golden bow. Yeah, they're pretty decent bows. The triple shot is better, but the double is still pretty good. Oh boy, these things are coming out of nowhere now. You spawn at literally the worst place for you to spawn. And so did you, wow. Okay. That's a lot of money, over 9,000. Oh gosh, it's a meme! This is getting real interesting now. Let's go look at this room. Some torches. Duplex bow just for the taking. You can burn these. They have stuff behind them. That's the way to go. I don't want to go that way yet. I'm just gonna cheese it with fire arrows. Take. One apple in three barrels. Damn, these guys must be broke. Then again, they do prefer bananas. Go away, Keese. I'm trying to find the secrets. So that part about going away, which which one of it did you not understand? I guess we'll just go on our way and uh, explore this place. Here we are, the Yiga Clan hideout. And before I even take one more step, this is highly recommended to equip in here. Hey, what are you doing here? This is the hideout of those Giga Thieves who stole the Thunderhound. If they spot you, they'll call their friends for sure. There's no way you can take them all on. If only you had some way of distracting them, but I don't know how. All I ever see them do is patrol and eat bananas. I haven't seen anything else that you could exploit as a weakness. Listen, this place is dangerous. You should get out of here while you can. I can take care of myself. Bananas, you say. These little stickers. That propaganda. Alright, so we got... We don't want to get caught. It's a stealth mission. These guys see you like a million freaking other ones show up and... You're gonna have a bad time! So just be sneaky. Move around slowly. And just don't get caught. These guys are pretty easy to get past, though. They're kind of dumb. Alright, there's past that one. Now, this one is a little different. Yes, I see that chest. Um, so what you want to do, you want to use your nanners. Toss it over. Shoot. See him coming? <laughs> he's, 
sneaker and fast. There's a treasure chest over here, and I kind of want to get it. Wait for him to go. I'll have to do that twice. That's worth it. Definitely worth it. And I have plenty of bananas, so I'm not worried about, like, running out. Yeah, you should see that. Yep. You can sneak strike and kill these dudes, too, if you want to go that route. I don't recommend going that route. I recommend going up these, these, this ladder. I almost called them stairs. I guess effectively they do the same thing, right? Thing. This is a dead end. And up here, we got their Ford up here. Let's get all of these. You good to use as bait and uh, good to cook with later. Alright, topaz. Yeah, this place has got all kinds of like jewels and stuff just laying around. Crap! That sucked! No, it doesn't suck for my wallet, because... Well, at least there's goodies here to get it. Good. Fuck him up. I'm just fucking up. There we go. Yeah. What now? You're dead. I saw one. Yeah, he's right there. Which way do you go? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't mean to go out that far. And, uh, this place makes me nervous. <laughs> crap, crap, crap! That was close. Got another one over there. They're everywhere here. This is the one I want, though. Get to you. Just don't turn around. Fuck. Fuck! I screwed up bad. Oh shit. There's like a million of them now. Oh, that sucked. Beware for the eye of the Yiga. So yeah, gamed over. I can't believe I just did that. I have never gamed over in here. Of course I'm recording, so... The worst that always happens when you record a video game for YouTube. It does not fail. So yeah, we have to do all of that to... I have to re-equip everything... Dumb. Let's see this the last time I was here. I'm not even going to grab what's in that chest this time. You know what? Screw it. Yes, I am. It's my prize, dang it. What is that? It's a shiny. Can you... No, oh, it's just a weapon. Um, okay, Link, are you okay, pal? Do I need to get you an adult? Can I use... No. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Shit, Link. Okay, good. Okay, that was definitely a good day. Um, get over there to that guy. More nanners. I don't need them though. I'm just gonna leave them. Don't want to take a chance of falling. So. Uh, 
She was 35. Take the bait. Jackass. Whoa, 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 go, 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 go. <laughs> Alright, this is a safe, pretty safe room here. Of course. Well, it's the collar of bananas. All kinds of goodies in this place, isn't there? Alright. Cool beans. Alright, we are at the end. Who the heck are you? And what are you doing in my napping spot? Hmm. Wait a minute. Hmm. The thing on your hip. Is that... Could it be a Sheikah Slate? If it's a Sheikah Slate, that... Then that means... Yeah, it's you! You're that link guy I've been looking for. <laughs> what luck! My scouts are out in the field looking high and low, but you just wander into my hideout. Oh, excuse me. I haven't introduced myself yet. I am the leader of the Yiga Clan. The strong. The burly. The one. The only. Master Koga. Now, prepare yourself. So, we got ourselves a boss battle. And it's pretty easy. I'm not gonna lie. But it's still fun. I love Master Koga. Actually, just Master Sword his butt. This is his, he has three phases. This one, you just wait for the ball to appear above his head, bonk him with an arrow, and boom. Now he's in a second phase. Mad. He's mad. This one, you just, it's kind of the same. Just wait. You will move. <laughs> just give him a good butt spanking. Simple. And he's in his final phase. This one's a little bit different. <clears throat> now he's got this big ball. Oh, we already got it. As you can see, it can be magnetized. Bonk. Bonk. Yeah. <laughs> He's a joke. Mm. Who would have thought I'd be done in like this? And by this guy of all people? You think I'm just going to let this stand? Do you? <laughs> I almost lost my temper there. Oh, what a pain. I can't go out like this. What to do, what to do. Ah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to bust out my serious moves. A secret technique taught by my father's mother's father. It will destroy you. This is the end. Oh, 
You just did that move. Oh, it's bigger. <laughs> Maybe it's just a tad too big. Are you still over there? Well, no matter. Pretty soon you'll be gone. And not just from my line of sight. Only the leader of the year can. Clan can use the sec- ah! Well, he did. Coward! I shall be remembered. The Giga Clan will track you to the ends of Hyrule! Ooh, prize. <clears throat> and for that, we get our Thunder Elm, a precious Gerudo heirloom reclaimed from the Giga. It has the power to withstand the Boris's lightning. Guard it with your life until you can return it to Riju. Unfortunately, we can't use it. But, uh, I think, if we go back in here, are the Yigas still here? Go back in here and get some stuff. I've never actually went back in here after beating him, so I'm kind of curious. Are they still here? Or have they all be spawned? I am not seeing them. So I can just run around here and grab this stuff. Cool. Yeah, I've never actually went back in here like this. It's the first time I've ever done this. It's cool that they're actually gone and you can just get all the stuff. It's basically like, hey, look, free shit. I know there's something up here. And there's not. Of course there's not. I guess our little friend is out of here. Alright, let's head back to Gerudo Town. Alright. Let's get girl or let's get our hot girl clothes on. E-girl clothes. Oh yeah, this dude. Let's uh catch up to him because he's got stuff for us to do. And he's kind of funny, too. Get over here, butt munch. Suh-suh-suh-fuck? So hey, the name's Bozai. I'm 35, single, and I love jogging. Especially on the sand. Hey, everyone says I'm tenacious as a tit. And I think some of them meant it in a nice way, too. So, so you out here on your own? Pretty rough-and-tumble place. Wanna hang out with me for a while? Ah, oh, you notice these old things? Yeah, they're my sand boots. They allow me to traverse the desert without being slowed down at all. So jogging is a breeze. If you'd like to check them out, we can grab a quiet corner and... Huh? Oh, well, here's the thing. These sand boots are super rare, and I'd happily give them to you, but... Wait, there's a golden chance here to woo. I mean, sure, I'd love to give them to you, you hungry little boot monster. But first, a favor. Ever heard of the legend of the eight heroine? I've heard of it. Aren't you clever? In that case, this won't take much explanation. We've all heard the legend, but the phantom heroine that none have seen has my, been my dream since I was a child. If you were to somehow show me the eighth heroine, I could make you a gift of the, these sand boots. Yes! <clears throat> According to those who analyze the eighth, the eighth heroine, she's enshrined somewhere in the Gerudo Highlands. Especially, they, apparently they even have a nickname for her. The Bronze Giant. Catchy. Beyond that, I don't really know much. Who knows? There might be someone in Gerudo Town who knows more about the Legend of the Seven Heroines. Maybe that info would help. I don't know. Anyways, draw a picture or something if you find her and then show me. I'm pretty picky about pictures too. If you get one, make sure at least the statue's upper half is visible, okay? You just want to see boobs. Oh, and here, if you'd like, you can use these. I'm sure they'll come in handy. Besides, you seem really into boots. Yeah, it's my fetish. Don't judge. <laughs> the Gerudo Highlands are covered in the deep snow, so it's hard to walk, right? Everyone knows that. Well, with these snow boots, you can walk through snow like it was flat ground. No, you can walk even faster than that. No one makes these anymore, so they're extremely valuable. As such, you can't keep them, okay? So, many have investigated the 8th heroine. 
but it's an inscrutable legend and an unsolved, and possibly unsolvable puzzle. And as Ms. Boots spins her wheels on it, we'll grow closer and closer, and then... Hee hee! <laughs> Link has a simp. That's funny. We'll pro we'll do that stuff like in another episode. That involves going up north to the part of the map that we... The one part of the map we haven't uncovered yet, so... We'll hold off on that for now. Oh, bye. Alright, so let's let them know what's going on. If you are looking for Lady Riju, she's on the second floor. Normally people aren't allowed into her sleeping quarters, but she has given you permission, it seems. Be on your best manners. If she deems you to be a disturbance to her, it will not end well for you. Somebody needs to give her, like, some weed. She needs to get out. She, she stays too bad. I've been waiting for you. Oh, you needn't say, needn't say a word. As the chief of the Gerudo, I can sense the power of the heirloom flowing from you. I know that you've succeeded. I am, as but you have no doubt noticed, still but a child. Hmm. The people looked on me with nothing but warmth in their eyes, but even this brings me some pain, I must admit. I've tried so hard to be worthy of their love, to be a worthy chief, and to prove to myself that I was worthy too. But when my family heirloom was stolen, I felt as though a shadow had fallen over me. Yes, your arrival is in the midst of all this. But all this must be the work of Lady Ar Arbosa. Bleh, can't read. Now please give me the elm. Um, how do I look? Well, you certainly got here fast. I should have expected as much from the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today, still as the sand now. So, spill it, boy. Have the two of you been getting along all right? <laughs> it's okay, I know. Your silence speaks volumes. She gets frustrated every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. It makes her feel like a failure when it comes to her own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. It's unfortunate. She's put in more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, she's gone through rigorous daily routines to show her dedication. She once passed out in the freezing waters trying to access this sealing power. And she has nothing to show for it. That's the motivation driving her research. I'd be doing the same thing. She really is quite special. You be sure to protect her with your life. It's quite the honor. The night brings a chill. It's probably time we take her in. Hmm. Or... <gasps> Urbusa! What was that? Did you feel that? Wait, what? How did you... What are you doing here? <laughs> Which is funny. <laughs> yeah, her bursts of some little mischievous. And it's kind of motherly to Zelda, which is kind of adorable. What's wrong? You're just staring. Anyway, what matters now is 
How? How is it? Do I look all right? It looks good. I see. <laughs> it's too big for a head. The threat divine beast Bodaborus poses only uh, poses has only grown since we began searching for the heirloom. I believe that Gerudo town itself may be in danger before too long. As chief and as Gerudo, I must find some way to stop that thing before it threatens my people. Will you help me? <laughs> Who would have thought that just before such a momentous battle? Hearing a simple, confident pledge of support from you would be what puts me at ease. Hiccups. I'll head out now. Let's meet up at the lookout post south of town. There's only one way to get close to Naboris, and that's with the help of a sand seal. That lookout post isn't too far from here, but you should take a sand seal there. You can get some practice in that way. I'll be there waiting for you with my favorite sand seal, Patricia. Still, it really is a little big. That's what she said. So interesting. Uh, if you come in here, this is her little bedroom. Well, I thought there was a Korok on the bed in here. I guess I'm wrong. There's no Korok in here. Yeah, you can read her diary. It's not going to get you anything. I could have sworn there was a Korok in here. I want that plushie, though. That's super adorable. I do believe there is a Korok way up here. A few minutes here. I'll let really me grab it. Just because it's been a few episodes since I've gotten any Koroks. I bet that water feels so freaking good. Take a look at around here. So we still got these ruins over here. Got this mess over here. Got another mess over there. Even more mess. It looks like a lot of this, this dirty sandstorm stuff like around here. And we're going to deal with some of that in the next episode. I don't know if I'm going to do Naboris yet. Uh, there's like other things I feel like we should do first. There's stuff like around this, this village we can do as well. Some of it doesn't become unlocked until later though. That's the way of Naboris. So, I'm probably going to meet you guys in the next episode, and we'll figure out exactly, probably maybe go over toward that sandstorm and, like, get that cleared out, and actually explore the proper desert and see what all is out there. How much money do I got? I'd still like to have more money. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.